dojos are at the center of this controversy. What's up, everybody? It's Dave from Team Rubokava Network, TRN Cobra Kai Theories, and thank you for joining in for another episode. So let me start off by saying I apologize for not releasing a video yesterday. There was some stuff going on. I had to actually work, and I was out really late. By the time I got home, it was really late, and I was still working till 2 o'clock in the morning <laughs> editing some other projects. So uh, I apologize, but to make up for that, you're gonna get a two for one special today because I'm gonna drop two videos today for you guys. So stay tuned for that next one. But uh, so we we know that we are gonna talk about Dimitri today. Uh, you know, it's just remarkable seeing some of the, the trailer and seeing what is happening with this character. And so before I get too deep in, you know, I love to give shout outs. So I'm gonna tell you guys, make sure to check out my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that good stuff. Uh, make sure to to find the links in the, in the descriptions and then join our Cobra Kai fanatics. Uh, I love you guys in there. You guys are, are, I think we're close to 300 now, but you guys are active and I really truly appreciate that. So make sure you join that. Cobra Kai fandom, of course, man. This was the first person to really reach out to me to do a collab, so I appreciate that. Watch Party, Banzai Kai Dojo, appreciate you guys. Cobra Kai fandom, the chosen one. And this man is destroying it right now. Cobra Kai Kid and Cobra Kai Studio. I appreciate you guys, all of your support, everything that you guys do towards my channel and the shout outs. Cobra Kai Nation, this dude is blowing up right now. So go over and show him some love. Tell him that TRN Dojo sent you guys. We hit the wrong button again. Man, I always hit the wrong button. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So let's talk a little bit about Dimitri. So. I mean, it was pretty, I have to say, it's pretty impressive to see what Dimitri's doing right now. We know he come off, he came off of season two, kind of, uh, you know, stepping up, kind of growing a pair and, and, and actually fighting with Hawk and showing some level. I'm not even going to say great level, but some level of defense that he was taught by Daniel and Miyagi-Do and then was able to kind of capitalize on that situation and... Just lay out a devastating, you know, ah man, whooping on on Hawk, which is just crazy. Hey, there's Peter from Cobra Kai Companion. Uh, make sure to check him out as well. So, uh, you know, we see this confrontation between them in the school, and, and let me tell you a couple of things before we deep dive into his character. There has definitely been a shift, and I've talked about this uh, kind of briefly between some of the other videos I've done, but there's been this shift with Miyagi-Do and almost like you can sense that there is this sense of, a, of aggression now and the thing that that surprised me the most is that there's no longer fear and if you see in season two you go back to season two very apprehensive dealing with Cobra Kai and just Miyagi-Do in general starting from Daniel all the way down there was just kind of this uneasiness and you saw it get to a point on season two the finale where it just like blew open and you saw these guys going hand to hand combat from all levels from everybody in Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do and just to watch that you know when you when you get to a point where you're not afraid of your enemy anymore, you're not afraid of someone, then you're, you're, you're not gonna shy away from confrontation. And that's kind of where I wanted to go with Dimitri today, is Dimitri has grown into what looks like someone that's not afraid of Hawk. And we saw that at that party, that's kind of like the, ooh, you know, when he was taking jabs at him, Eli and uh, making fun of him and, and talking about his bedwetting and all that. So we know that there was this shift. Now what I realized is it's almost similar. And you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. You guys can put comments below, whatever, and blow me up for it. But it's almost very similar to Hawk's transformation where one day he just became Hawk. And I think Dimitri has gone through that same thing after that fight. He's no longer afraid of him. He's no longer afraid. And then to, to know that they have this deep level of friendship, I think that's it too. Because I don't think 
I don't think he would be this aggressive towards an absolute stranger in like Cobra Kai. I, this is there's something much deeper. There's a lot of resentment, and now he feels confident that he can, uh, you know, kind of push him around like a swept the leg right there, and just tell him what? What do you got? So it's interesting to see his arc of his character is is almost similar. Not not quite. So don't put that you know in writing, but it's very similar to see his his character come to life so i want to talk a little bit about why why this was such a surprise for me personally but two why i think this character is going through this evolution as well i think for the first time dimitri feels like he's part of something he's always been a loner he's always been an outsider he's always been the uh, eternal negative pessimist person that we've seen in season one with all his witty jokes and all that look at that look at that look in his eye he there's no fear in that young man's eyes towards talk but i think this this character is finally coming to his his uh i don't want to say he, he's kind of figuring out who he is and i think that this is going to lead to something bad for Dimitri. Now, I'm going to put up another video about Hawk, so I won't go too deep into it, but there it's clearly that they are the center of their own confrontation in season 3. I mean, there's going to be a lot of things that are going on, but we know that individually almost each character has some type of issue or some type of uh, a battle between somebody from the other dojo, and I think Dimitri clearly clearly is targeting hawk now and so there's going to be repercussions for that because i definitely think that a bigger confrontation is going to happen between both dojos and i think it's, it's sad to say but i think at this point uh dimitri is gonna pay the consequence for that dimitri is gonna be the one that is severely injured uh simply for taunting the, the hawk what's up bud they can't see you bud you're out of frame here it is. this is my little one hey all right come on papa uh i gotta cut his hair too but uh you know so i i think this transformation has been remarkable for him too but i really think that he's kind of on the same trajectory where he's almost a little arrogant with hawk and like i said i don't want to get deep too deep into hawk in this one but i also believe that's what's led to hawk's kind of losing a lot of these these fights is that there's a little bit of arrogance and and bravado and and that has been the piece that has been you know just not working for him but i think there will be some i'm gonna say it i think dimitri is gonna get hurt badly really bad like hospital bad because of all of this so let me know what you guys think right now. I know that, uh, you know, he's he's one of the characters that we are... I have always liked... Well, I kicked the back. I didn't always like Dimitri, but I'm starting to really like him in Season 2. And now Season 3, I can't wait to see what he's going to do. But I also think he's going to be the fire, you know, that ignites even more conflict. Simply because of his own actions. And it's going to lead to something bigger. So, tell me what you guys think. Leave your comments in the, in, below. Let me know how you feel. And then what we're gonna do is just read a couple of comments from the last video, Carmen Won't Forgive. So let's check that video, I'm sorry, let's check those comments out, and then we're gonna get on out of here. All right, guys, hold on one second, let's, let's push this over. Okay, so I love reading these comments, guys, because I really feel like it, it's just a community, and I love reading some insight, and I love reading what you guys talk about, and sometimes you guys share some insight on things that I w didn't really think about, so I'm kind of living in my own bubble right now, so and uh so it's cool to see some of your uh your comments out there so maxima get your shovel ready <laughs> love how you deal with the haters i think that had to do with i can't remember which video was it that video i think it was uh one of the comments just somebody just you know whatever throwing out some hate so i told him i'm bringing some more and said so this one's more so get your shovel ready patrick 22 i think miguel's mother talked to her after she calmed down yes yes definitely uh, Maxima, yep, I think she'll forgive him because she'll see how much Johnny cares for Miguel and how much Miguel cares for Johnny. They definitely have an amazing bond, and so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how that grows. That video was more about, like, what led to that? We know that Johnny's helping, but what led to, you know, 
Carmen saying, okay, you can, you can help my son. So that's what that video was about. MM09, here's a theory of what happens if Carmen forgives Johnny and they too try to mend the fences, but then who shows up at around the exact time but Ali herself. Now imagine uh, she and Johnny start to hang out and then Ali shows up. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, we've seen this before, guys. We've seen this in many, many movies where the two love interests just like can't connect and then when they finally do, some other person comes in and just obliterates it. So that wouldn't surprise me. Alan says, Kelly in the house, remember, be like water. That's right, brother. All right, let's see what else we got here. Detective Bat, it will take time, but I believe Carmen will forgive Johnny. I don't blame her for being angry Johnny at Johnny, even if it wasn't his fault what happened in the school brawl. I agree. Uh, let me see. It'd be me. Mr. Miyagi told Daniel, you have to learn to stand before you fly. Johnny taught Miguel how to fly. Now he has to teach him how to stand. Hashtag Cobra Kai fanatics. That's like amazing. Like, that's why I love reading these comments out. Like, it's just like a, it's right. Now he needs to teach him how to stand. So uh, Daniel said, we'll just read a few more. Daniel says, my opinion, Carmen will forgive Johnny since in the trailer, Johnny is helping Miguel uh, help him rehabilitate. All right, uh, Hector, I think Carmen will forgive Johnny, especially with Yaya putting in some muscle like she did, like she likes Johnny, always gets in good with the parents or grandparents, exactly. Uh, all right, guys, so we gotta get going. Uh, thank you for all your support. Another video coming out today. Stay tuned, I appreciate all the support. And until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.